Hi everyone. Uh, over here on the top right, you can see an example of an animation that I made in Kivi. And it's super easy to do. Well, maybe not this one. This one was a little bit more complicated. This is just to show you guys what we can do. Um, so this is going to be a quick series about how to do some of these animations. Here I've got a bunch of color changes, spinning, uh, motion, and opacity changes. Okay, so that's uh, the incentive. Okay, so let's go ahead and just animate a button's color. Okay, so here we go. The first thing you want to do is import animation, the animation class from kiwi.animation. And then I'm going to have, I'll, I'll run the app so you can see what we do first. So this is just a button in the center of the screen, and when you click it, it changes color to red. So as basic as we can get. All right. So I'm defining a function called animate the button, which will happen when we click the button. Um, and I want to pass it the widget that I want to animate. So I'm going to pass the button itself when I when I press it. Okay. So this is how you make an animation. Just say some variable name is this animation uh, instantiation here, and then you can pass any argument, uh, any attribute of your widget that you want to change. So I want to change my background color. We could also change something like opacity or like the position hint or something like that or uh, X, X being the position. So here I'll just show changing the background color to red. This is the color red. And then after you're okay with your animation, you do anim.start, so the name dot start and then you tell it what widget you want to apply it to. And then over here you can see the, the KV file. I just have a button inside a generic layout um, and it's centered on the screen. And then when I release, I'm calling the animate the button function and I'm passing self. So self is this button. Okay, so that's how I know what the widget is that I should animate. So again, I'll run. And if I click the button, it turns red. Easy as that. I can also, like I said, change the opacity. So I'll make it completely transparent and I'll run again. And when I click, you can see that it went red and also faded away. Now you can sequence these. So say I wanted to turn red and then go transparent. I could do something like anim and then you can do uh, this addition operator. So the creators of Kivi have defined what addition means for animation classes. So I can tack on a new animation and I'll say opacity equals zero. And what will happen now is it'll play this animation and then when it's done it'll play this animation exactly afterwards. So let's run. It turns red and then it fades. Okay, that's pretty easy. We can also change how long it takes for these to uh, animate just by specifying the duration. So say I want this to go really fast to red and then really slow uh, fading out. So you pass it the number of seconds, so it quickly turns red and then slowly fades out. So that's pretty handy. Um, another thing you can do is you can define a callback whenever this animation is finished. And I can do that by doing anim.bind and then I'll bind the on complete. So on complete is called whenever this animation is finished. So I'll pass a callback function. I'll say self dot my callback. And then if I go down here, I have to define a function, my callback self, and I'll take an args because this on complete function will pass some generic arguments. And I'll just say um, I'm done. All right, so now it should turn red, fade slowly, and look down here. I'm done. Okay, sorry, I, I screwed up there. Um, we'll do it one more time. So red, fade, and then down here. I'm done. Ta-da. So there you have it. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more episodes on animation.